Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is David with A Tech for Android. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, I normally don't do videos on the weekend. I usually do videos Mondays and Fridays. So I had to do a video today because I found something very, very exciting that I was not aware about or didn't even know this app even existed. So this is called CSBW. Basically, what this app can do, if you look above, you'll see the December 18th and the day and the year, okay? I'm using Nova Launcher, which is the, basically the pixel um, search bar for Google, okay? Now, um, Nova Launcher does supply, uh, you know, gives this option for you to have this search bar, but the good thing is when I found this app out and I tested it, you know, got to tweaks here and there. I was actually astonished when I found that you can use this search bar, like the pixel uh, search bar on your default home launcher. And if you don't know what that means, basically it's your default home launcher that came with your device without setting up no Nova launcher, um, anything, Google now launcher, none of that stuff. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So right now I'm on Nova Launcher. If I would go ahead and get out of here, I'm going to go into my settings, go into my home screen, and right here it says default launcher, Nova Launcher. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my stock launcher, okay? So here, as you can see, is where everything I have that I've ever downloaded, it's on my home screen, okay? So right here, it says... CSBW. So what am I going to do is I'm going to move these apps down real, real quick so you can get an idea on exactly how this works and what it can do. Okay. When I saw this app on a Google Play Store, I was like, what the hell is this? And I read about it. So I was like, oh, hell yes. So you don't have to have a custom launcher to get certain things you want on your, on your device. So what you need to do, if you really want this, go to the Google Play Store and type in CSBW. Now I'm gonna go there myself and I'm gonna show you what it's going to look like. So once you go there and you download this, here is the actual picture what you need to look for. Custom search bar widget, CSBW. When you download that, go ahead and open it up. Now there is a pro version, but the pro version is really worth it and I'll show you why in just a second so right here when you open up the app go to appearance okay now these are actual themes that you can download and apply to this custom widget okay uh, they have many widgets here and it does get monthly updates I have checked before I looked into this application any further so the last update was on December 5th of 2016. So that's the good part of it. Now to move forward into the actual widget, if you go to where it says edit widget, right here is the actual search bar that it's default on. If you look below that, it has the pixel search bar with the November 5th, Saturday, I'm sorry, yeah, Saturday 2016. Now, I have that set already. Originally, when you open up the app for the very first time, it's going to have your set uh, default launcher, uh, I'm sorry, default search bar already added for you. So you would have to go in here and manually do it yourself. So you can't exactly hit the blue button to turn it off because it's not going to do anything. You just go ahead and just whatever search bar you want, just click on it and it turns off the default by itself. Okay, now here's the awesome part about this app. Now, if you look very closely, usually on the Google Pixel uh, search bar, you have the, the, the month, the date, and the actual day on the right side. You can actually swap it to your left side instead of on the right side. And what I mean by that is if you look down here underneath the search bar where it says side and it says left, if you click on that and hit right, and hit apply and you go to your home screen go ahead and just go to your widgets and you're gonna look for the application which is right here custom search bar widget so go ahead and click on that and just add it right here and now you just want to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit it may like look kind of funky but it's worth it but check that out the month the day everything is on the left side and set on the right side is like a mirror effect so it's really 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 cool 
Now, if you don't like that, if you want to go ahead and switch it back to where you had it before, all you have to do is go where it says side underneath the search bar and click on it and hit left and then hit apply. Obviously, changes have been applied. It's back to the way it was before. I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> if you go down more, it says side background. Now, what this basically means is if I get out of here and if you're looking at the Google logo and if you notice behind that, there's nothing there. It's completely blank. It's empty. Some of you guys might sit there and say, well, I don't like it because it has a gap in there and I prefer to close in the gap. You can do that with this application and I'm going to show you how to. So go back into CSBW settings. Okay. Now on the side background, you have an option to change the colors once you click on it and you can choose to any colors you want. But if you want to stay with the basic uh, background color to fill in that gap, you want to go ahead and just uh, click a white background. Okay. Once you do that, hit OK and you want to turn that on. Now, as soon as you turn that on, you can see on the top left right here where the Google logo is at that the gap is filled in. If you hit apply and go back to your home screen, some of the gap has pretty much applied to it, but you still have that little bit of gap left. So what you want to do is you want to go back into your settings. Okay. And as soon as you go back into your settings right here, it's going to say side outline. Now what the side outline is, if you click on it and if you notice that the color is set to blue, but if you hit apply and go back to your home screen, notice that you have the blue lines that's kind of on the top and the bottom of the uh, Google logo. Um, it looks kind of weird, but some people might think it's kind of cool. Um, you can fill in that gap because the thing is you have to mess around the, you know, with the uh, settings in order to do that. So I'm going to turn that off because it looks kind of retarded. Um, now here's the thing where it says side outline width. You can actually click on that and you can go up to 10 PX. Okay. I prefer to leave it at 1 PX because it won't look all tacky and bulky. So I kind of want to leave that alone. But um, if you go to date, now this is the part that's really, really cool. If you go to date and you turn off that blue button where it says date, that's completely gone now. Hit apply and you go back, there's nothing there. It's completely empty. So if you just want to use this as a search bar widget only without having the date and etc., you don't have to have that on there, okay? It's entirely up to you. When I saw this part, I was kind of like, that is badass, okay? This, get, this gets better, okay guys? So, with the date, you can have the option to turn it off or turn it on. Now, here's the cool part. If you turn it on, right, and if you look a little bit after this white box, it looks like a chain. If you click on that, okay, you can have an option to choose whatever app you want to uh, open. Now, let's just say, for example, I'm going to choose Calendar, okay? I chose Calendar. Let me do it again. Okay, I chose calendar, right? And I'm gonna hit apply. So we'll go back to the home screen and I'm gonna go ahead and touch December 18th, Sunday, 2016. If you click on that, it takes you right into your calendar. That is so freaking cool. So you can have the option to do that. And if you don't want the calendar, you don't have to have it there. I just figured since it shows the date and etc., you can click on it, but you don't have to have that. If you click on the calendar logo again, where it says the date, you can choose whatever app you want on here. It doesn't matter. Whatever apps is installed into your device or pre-installed into your device, you can go ahead and you can have that feature, okay? Now, it gets better. Where it says default search. Now, if you want that pixel look, go ahead and click on uh, CSBW. You have three options. The search, Google Now, or choose app. I prefer Google Now. Hit apply, right? Go back to your home screen, hit the G, and it takes you right there into Google search, okay? Keyboard pops up automatically the whole nine. And if you don't want to look for anything, you can always hit the back button and you can just go into Google now and you have everything here that you want. So that's awesome as hell. So go back out of there and go back into your CSBW uh, settings and where it says default search Google now, voice search Google now, we click on it, you got Google web search. 
So you have that option to do that. Background is set to white. You can customize the logo or the actual um, the bar itself. So that's another option that's really, really cool. Um, you can also edit the outline width to 2XP all the way down to 10XP. Uh, on the left icon itself, you can also change that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So uh, let's go ahead and turn off the left icon. Let's turn that off and just click on the G logo. You have these options here to where if you don't want the G color, you can do G lines, Google color, or Google lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit Google color, right? I'm gonna turn it back on and I'm gonna hit apply and it changes I've been applied. Get out of here and there you go. That is also changed. Like I said, there's lots of customizations you could do on here. And so if you decide you want to change it back, just go ahead and turn it off. Click back on to the G color, hit the turn on button, hit apply, go back home, and it's back to the way it was before. So like I said, when I found this app, I was like, oh my God, this app is so freaking cool. You know, because some of the times the reason why I was using Nova Launcher is so I can get that Google Pixel feel and look, and I was absolutely stunned when I found this. Now, if you go down to edit widget, we have more customizations you can do. You can do and change the colors from the main background, text color, background, outline, outline width, left icon, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Now the drawer replacement, if you hit right here where it says below, you can do either above or below, okay? Background, you can change the color, the outline, the outline width, etc., etc. You can either do the columns, the grid lines, whatever okay now if you decide you want to make your own theme you can do that on here okay uh, on the top right here it says save current theme so you can whatever themes you make you can save it on here like the adjustments whatnot but um, if you go ahead and hit the back button um, you have the more options for graphic design that can take you back into the Google Play Store and you can go ahead and just look at what themes they have on here that's not built into the actual app so when I saw that I thought it was pretty cool as hell so um, basically just gave you a short video review of this application um, go check it out tell me what you think uh, give me some of your feedback um, you know tell me if you like it or if you don't like it and what could be done to make it better um, other than that um, if you like this video hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to email me, you can. You can hit me up at atech65 at outlook.com.